for our children as you may know fear family conflict violence in the homes they fear that their husband and wife or their parents the mother and them father will separate they fear that they will divorce they fear and they blame themselves when such things happen and that is the beginning of mental illness for the child and therefore if it can be uh, uh, addressed at the family level you will find that it uh, you will pick up a very mature child who is able to handle the stresses and of life and even of the workplace so there is a conversation which i was following around um, the mother of boys okay and this conversation is trying to claim that um, even though Rigari Gashagwa is going down because of his recklessness in the political utterances and everything that he did, very bad approach that he gave to the governance, that he is going to mess the futuristic leadership ambitions of his wife, Dorcas Rigari Gashagwa. And if he is not going to be given a chance to come back to the office, then already he has messed her. And the proponents of this conversation were trying to say that if you look at Dorcas Rigari Gashagwa, you will be trying to say that she was, first of all, a wise lady and she was proper in that position she was holding. In fact, others are saying that Dorcas Rigari Gashagwa is the first lady that we never had. As we pray and faith rises, we should tell people to work with their hands. We must help in driving the economy of this country and the economic drivers i've just told you they're in the gutter get them from there as you pray bring them clothe them make them men that are worthy make them fathers make them leaders and make them missionaries for god if you look at her as a demeanor her stature and her portrayal, everything around her, what she stands for, what she believes, and what she was able to do during that time that she was the second lady. And actually, if you put them on a, on a weighing scale, and this is very much practical because we have been following them all along. We know exactly what Rachel Ruto has, has, has been able to do. We know the kind of milestones that she has achieved at the first lady and also when you bring the second lady Dorcas Rigari Gashagwa we also know what she has been able to do and even most of the times when you look at the magnitude of the projects that they were handling you will definitely give it to Dorcas Rigari Gashagwa the kind of project that she allowed herself to flow into just to champion for are greater and of great impact to the society. Although we are not belittling the project that Rachel Ruto did, we are just making an argument in favor of the fact that this is a lady that has been messed by her husband and the recklessness and the political happenings. <laughs> Sisi tuliamuka mapema tuka invest kwa serikali ya President William Ruto. Nimesikia viongozi wengine wamepotea wakisema ate oh sisi hatuwezi toka kwa serikali. Sisi tutoke kwa serikali tuende wapi? Sisi ni serikali yetu. Na itoka ati ito. Na itoka ati ito. I want to ask leaders not to make statements that confuse wananchi. That kind of nonsense should be contained within who subgroups muoge huko. Mukifika hapa kwa mashinani muongee lugha ambaye inaelekeza wananchi vizuri. Huyu ni rais wetu ni sisi tulimchagua tu kumchagua. Tunaweza wacha ile tulichagua? Si ni sisi tulimchagua. Sisi tuko kwa hii serikali mia kwa mia tuko ndani 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 na hii ni serikali yetu. Nikuwa ndo hicho. Ni ndo ikana malaga tu serikali na serikali na in fact, I was listening to somebody saying that um, if Dorcas Rigadi was given a chance, for instance, to be the first lady, or she finds herself to be the first lady, then what she can do would be even much better than what her husband can do. 
And most of the times we question, why then, if Dorcas Gale Gashago was such a very woman of stature, or a woman of valor, why couldn't she actually advise Ricky G to be very careful with his wordings? Hata hile polisi uru walituma kwa nguwa musini, wakanitoa nguwa yote uchi bele ya bibi na watoto, ni mayasame. Eh? Yeah? Wakaita wafanyi kazi yangu, ati waneona nekiwa uchi na wakambia wapige picha, tube wasame. Kwa sababu sisi ni wa kristu. Na hii nchi ya wesi songa mbele kama hatu semeani. So we songo hile umefanyiwa, hai jafika yabu na wili muruto. So we tulia, si we ulishikuwa tu siku mbili, huja tolewa nguo. Huja tolewa bibi yako kwa ndege, vile wili muruto alifanyiwa. Bibi yako haja fukuzwa kwa nyumba na nguo yake kutubwa inje. William Ruto, Mimi, Tumesamea hii watu diyo Kenya isonge mbele. And we... Because most of the times you realize that it is very, very proper for a serious man to go back in the house and when they go to sleep, all right, the wife should have a moment to make some little counsel. Not counseling in a way that is demeaning the priesthood of a man of the house, but telling him that I think the day was okay, you did this properly well, it was so much good, and maybe you can build in this area. If you look at proper men who have established homes, and mostly men who know God, because it is only until a man knows God properly well that they can be the priest of their home. If you look at them, they will tell you that most of the times they have got good advices from their spouses. In fact, let me just give you a practical example in the political world. If you go to Barack Obama, and the time he was the president of the United States, most of the times when he was speaking about his wife, Michelle, he was praising her for being a steadfast woman of the house, and not just the house, but of the United States. In fact, the last speech where Obama was bidding farewell to the people when he was leaving office, he told Americans that the White House was very much honored to have Michelle Obama in place. And so most of the times he has been praising Michelle Obama as giving him the advice that are so optimal, advice that are so best, and the advice that are constructive for him as the president to make pure decisions and very much productive decisions. So if you try to compare that, why would... Dorcas Rigali Gashagwa not appearing to have given some proper advice to Rigiji because I believe you, she was seeing exactly what was happening. Most of the serious project that she was handling, you know, she was getting feedback and she was also following what was happening to Rigiji. You talk about maybe the, the kind of a man that Rigiji is, we were expecting that perhaps she should be trying to sit him down and tell him that, uh, you know, son of Mau Mau, I think you went overboard. I think you need to redirect your steps. I think you need to make some better moves. So if you talk of a woman that her time has been cut short because of what is happening to Rigiji, then you will be talking of Dorcas Rigiji When I see youth that are disciplined, I see young people that have a vision, and I see young people that have a direction and a destiny uh, uh, people, I feel very proud. Look at the project of um, rehabilitating uh, those boys who are into drug abuse. Definitely, that is a project of a lifetime. That is a project that is beneficial to the society. And even when God sees what you're doing to the humanity, service to humanity, service to God. And I believe that if she had a chance to continue that, even when she is outside, she will get more college and she will develop the community like we never thought. As a pastor, I don't know how many people I have buried. And I can tell you, even in my family, we have buried brothers out of this alcohol and drug abuse. And so when you see me standing here, I'm talking of something that I know. Please don't go there. I'm trying to get your brothers out of the gutters. I'm trying to realign their destinies and to take them back to their dreams and their hope. I don't want you to come and fill that space. That's why I am here. Because I love you and I don't want you in a casket. I don't want you dead. I want you alive and I want you prosperous. 
And because it is politics, and her husband had decided to go into political world, I think it is very much just a bad end of this game altogether. And maybe they might still have a future in whatever they still want to achieve. But I think as at now, as things stand, you know, she is the first lady that we never had. She is the second lady that we never had. She is the real woman that definitely we never had. We saw her crying the other time when Rigiji was was making the statement. And you could see exactly the pain. It's like what they always say, Uchungwa mwana joini mzazi. So in this case, she was the mother, of course, the mother of the house and everybody in her house. Yende anajua uchungu. Kushinda ata Rigiji. You know, Rigiji can, can maybe try to do some things behind the political scenes and a man must survive. But her, she really felt the real heat of what happened to her husband. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What do you think about her? What do you think about that conversation that she is the first lady that we never had? She is the second lady that we just had, but when you are starting to get the fruits out of her, we never got the chance and the opportunity to enjoy. What do you think? Let me hear from you and um, we'll meet next. I just wanted us to tackle that a little bit. And we meet next. Have a great time.